Hello tankers! Time for the first spring episode of the vlog. We would like to share some interesting news with you today, so let's start! Once upon a time we showed you some spoilers on cool supply activation effects. Now the time has come to show you spoilers to these. This is how Railgun shoots now. All shot colors, including the default one, have been updated. You will not have to obtain the new shot effects from containers if you already have the corresponding old shot effect color. The updated shot effect colors will simply replace the current ones, just like HD scans replace old ones when they come out. So what? We're finally serious about shot effects? Yeah, exactly! Other turrets will gradually get their shot effects changed too, in this manner. Let's not forget about the tank explosion effect. It will soon appear in the main servers as well. There were a few bugs with the physics of fire, and the new explosion mechanic needed further improvement. We will release it as soon as it's ready. For now you can write your guesses on which turret will get its shot effect updated next. With the server restart this week, a huge event called Spring Festival begins. In honor of this, we have increased funds and experience in matchmaking and pro battles during the first weekend. Moreover, you will find discount icons on the shop and garage buttons in the lobby. Purchase and upgrade your equipment at 30% off. The offer is available until Monday morning. Here's another pleasant change. We will add the festive advent calendar section in the missions again. You will have 10 prizes to claim for entering the game every day. Each of them contains one common key. Use them to open containers and go straight to the battlefield. There you will need to spend a lot of time, because special missions of Spring Festival are not that easy. Use Overdrive, earn battle points, earn stars, support your team. And these are just some of the missions. There are more for premium and battle pass owners, and tasks to earn points in special modes. Hurry up and complete them all before March 28th. The same day is the deadline for the Elite Pass. Earn at least 1000 stars and get all the rewards. The main prize is a legendary key. You definitely want to get one of the skins it offers. And what about a new augment for your garage? This time we have four of them in the updated Epic containers. Stunning Core from Magnum immobilizes an opponent on critical hits. Missile Launch Faust for Striker decreases aiming and reload time. However, you pay for this by reduced firing range. Helios for Ricochet lets you instantly launch all your magma balls towards the opponent, but aim precisely, otherwise, as it takes a longer time to reload, the situation may not be in your favor. And if an opponent still doesn't understand what personal space means, the Blaster Augment for Crusader will help you make it all clear. Some of these augments, for example Helios, are also available in the exotic category of prizes. This is not a mistake. It increases your chance to get such items. If Helios is the augment you want, now is the best time to use the accumulated keys. If you want to replenish your stock of keys, visit the shop's showcase. It contains special offers, including those that also reward you with days of premium pass and units of supplies. Finally, the schedule of special event modes. From March 8th to 15th, we will have Classic. Overdrives and drones are disabled, but you may still use supplies. Choose whatever hull and turret you want, and enjoy the old style of gameplay on the following pro battle maps. Starting from March 15th, we will have Arms Race. Each three tanks you destroy brings you closer to victory. You start with Smoky and display your skill on each turret available in the game. The final task is to finish 5 enemy tanks with B0NK. The one who does it first will be on the top of the final results table. On March 22nd, the mode will be changed to Sport. When you enter this one, your equipment is automatically upgraded to the maximum modification. Use supplies, overdrives and grenades. The rest of settings are disabled. Tomorrow's release adds a new setting. It is disabled by default, but if you want to check it out, you may enable it yourself. We ask you to try it and to answer the following questions. 
How much do these damage direction indicators make your gameplay easier? Do they distract you from aiming? Let's take a look at how they work. You will see an indicator showing the position of the opponent's turret, who inflicted damage upon you. You won't see it if you get damage from mines, overdrives, or grenades. You see an indicator for each single shot of smoky, thunder, or other turrets of this type. If a magnum that stands in front of you manages to shoot you from behind or the side, an indicator shows that a source of damage is in front of you, because that is where the turret of the opponent is. You won't get spammed by indicators of shots from Fast Shooting Twins, Firebird, and Vulcan, but if you get damage from multiple opponents at the same time, you will see as many indicators as there are tanks attacking you. Size of an indicator also matters. If a shot have your HP, you will see a large arrow. It means that it is time to pay more attention, because one of the next shots may destroy your tank. We recommend you to check out this new feature and to find its pros and cons. We will take your feedback into account when finalizing this new feature. The beta test of the new HTML5 mobile version is in full swing. If you apply to be a tester, check your Google Play app. There should be an update available for our game. If it's not visible, open settings of your phone, find Google Play and press the clear data and clear cache buttons. While testing the game on your smartphone, pay attention to the 10 questions on our feedback form. Describe the gameplay experience with as much details as possible. This will help us get high-quality feedback. We will unleash more information about Tank Online on smartphones in episode 502. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Also, make sure you have notifications enabled, that's important. With the development of the mobile version, we improve interaction with the interface of the game. Small changes await you in the shop. Now you can purchase packs of supplies in 1, 100, 1000, 3000 and 9999 units. We made this change primarily due to the fact that on smartphones, when purchasing supplies, a player needed to press the plus icon hundreds of times or open their keyboard in full screen, which is also not very convenient. Another change is that now you will see pop-up windows in the lobby of the game. They will be telling you about available special event modes and advantages offers in the shop. You only see one window each time you enter lobby, for example after finishing a battle. Don't worry, we won't spam you. You won't need to close these windows every time, because they are not unlimited and do not repeat. We added an option to report violations in the lobby chat and battle chats. To report a troublemaker in the lobby or in a battle, click on the nickname of the author of the message and press the Report the Message button. Next, it is up to our moderators. They will consider your complaint and make a decision as soon as possible. You may also report bad pro battle names. You will see the Report button there as well. The number of reports you can send daily is limited. Moreover, if we see that you abuse the system of reports and send us a lot of false complaints, we may disable this function for you. Another change is the way we moderate matchmaking battles. Now, instead of blocking a violator, we might just kick them from the battle. For example, if you report a teammate for inactivity or for deliberately badly interfering with ally tankers, we will force this tanker to leave this battle. In case there are some massive violations, for example, if some players from one team agreed to not shoot some tankers from the other team, we might force finish such a battle, and nobody gets rewards for it. One more thing, it doesn't apply to pro battles. If you perform such violations there, we might block your account. Moreover, if you use hacks or if you transfer your account regardless of the place, we will block you forever. Be aware that our customer support department doesn't review complaints about false blocks for violations in battles and we do not provide proofs for your violations. We know that many of you are looking forward to the results of the Question of the Year competition. 500 participants faced a challenge that needed to be completed, and they had to write the correct answer faster than their opponents. In the initial video hint, all holes in the battle were Vikings. 
the 25th frame of that video, included a logo type of our wiki. This must have led you to the second stage, finding the special QR code. Four of them were hidden on the wiki article page about this hull. Three codes were fake and had links to wrong videos. The only right QR led you to the form with five audio questions. If at least one of your answers was wrong, you again saw a fake video. Only all correct answers would precede you to the next stage. In the final page, there was only one question about Tesla and Juggernaut. How many tanks should be present in the chain, including the Juggernaut, so that the Juggernaut with the Demon Protection Module receives only 5 HP of damage from the shots of Tesla? The correct answer is 6. Here are the winners. Ananas, Hello Bro, Yumari, Blee or D, Concursant, Meteor Cutoff, Guard of the World, It's Bodish. SHX and a Gar Slate. Each of them gets the main prize, a legendary key. The other participants were either slower than their opponents or their answer was incorrect, but they still get three epic keys as a consolation prize. Thank you all for taking part in such a long and hard contest. Yes, a lot of news this time. Give us your feedback and any questions in the comment section below. If you're interested in how we renovated our vlog studio room, check out our YouTube shorts. There's a video about it there. See you soon! Bye!